Okay, uh, well, welcome to a tutorial on how to draw a graph, which sounds mind-bendingly easy, uh, but still some people tend to take about half an hour to do this. Okay, so the first thing to do is decide um, which way up your piece of paper is going to be. I've made this one deliberately an awkward shape. Uh, it's not quite going to fit the data I want to put on it, um, but what I'm not going to try and do is fill the whole page. I'm just aiming to use more than half uh, of the page in uh, both on both axes. Okay, so I'm going to count up. I'm going to need five, and I'm going to make it very easy for myself to plot by just using um, the standard size grid squares. Okay, and I'm measuring it twice uh, before I draw in my axes with a ruler, and that is going to make sure I don't make a big mess or whatever it is. Uh, so uh, yeah, measure twice, cut once, as Mr. Dixon would say. Right, draw the axes in with a ruler. Even if you're using the edge of the page, draw the axis in. Okay, next I'm going to label the axis. I like to set the whole thing up before I start plotting points, get the whole thing ready to go. Okay, so I'm going to make sure uh, that my axes are fully labeled and that I've included the appropriate SI units. Um, the little forward slash before the unit is one way of separating it from the label. Um, the other way you can use is to put it in brackets. Okay, now I've put uh, temperature on my um, x-axis. Uh, that's the uh, independent variable, that's the thing that I'm setting. Okay, and the time taken in this case for a chemical reaction to be completed is the thing I'm measuring at the end. You might call it either the dependent variable or some people would call it the output variable. Um, and uh, that's going to be on a scale from 1 to 100 seconds. Uh, if you're plotting times, don't use mixed units, minutes and seconds. Convert everything in to the SI unit, which is seconds. Abbreviation S, not SEC or SEX or anything else. Um, and there we go. All right, notice this is recorded in real time. It's not taking me ages to do this. And the reason it's not taking me ages is because I've picked an easy scale. All right, okay, now putting the points in, I'm plotting with an X. Uh, I'm not using just a dot on its own, which will disappear under the line that I'm going to draw through them. Okay, and I'm not using a vertical X because that will disappear into the grid. Don't be fancy, don't be clever. Just use a nice straightforward diagonal X. Okay, now I want to put a line through these points. Uh, now, um, Mr. Fisher will laugh, uh, but I'm not very good at drawing curves, so I'm just going to join my points um, using straight lines drawn with a ruler. That's always a safe option, at least in biology. You very rarely lose marks for doing this. Uh, and to be honest, it looks a lot better than a nasty, scrappy freehand curve. Okay, there we are. Total time for the operation just over three minutes. Okay, I've even got time to put a title on it. Uh, people worry about what shall I call it? Well, just say what it is. In this case, time taken to complete a chemical reaction.